Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. You got some more morale here now, so I'm going to give you... You've already got... I could, I, let's give you super hard digging. Some extra super hard diggers would probably be good. Bubbles up this side, you can't do research. You can do... You've got very little in the way of additional... Let's give you the basic hard digging, shall we? Grilling. I'll give you grilling. Rowan over here. Starting to improve. Now we got improved. We got super hard digging. Let's give you super hard. Ellie up this way. Her morale is climbing. It's still not great. So I'm not going to give her anything extra. Because any extra, it does change things around a little bit. And your morale is a bit low as well. So I'm going to leave you off of it at the moment also. Uh, but over here. But you're going to become a researcher. Actually, no, your aesthetic design. I'm, I'm going to give you the art hat. You're going to have art fundamentals. That's going to be your hat. Despite the fact that you are also going to be our researcher. Uh, Nisbet, down here. Here, let's just improve strength. And Jean, you are advanced research at the moment. So you are a... Um, Crazy hat wearer. Right, I'm happy with that. There. I'm happy with that. So i got food shortage. We've got building lack resources. We're waiting for some digging to be done over here. I've got coal lying on the floor over here. A few hundred. Which is good. If we've got some spare coal lying around, that is excellent. That's a step in the right direction. And then we want this one to be able to work down through here. So I'm going to need additional research over this side. And see, this is the problem. The coal is already running out. We're already running low on coal. Uh, now, the other thing that I've been told about is that maybe I should leave this one now. Don't change that. I mean, my liquid reserve now, we're down to 144 in here. Pipe block. So that's, that's not doing anything in there. That one is pipe blocked as well because it's not doing anything up here. But what I want to do next is I want to start trying to cool the base down. And we've got an ice zone here. So I want to use this ice zone to be able to do it. So to start off with, I'm going to have a ladder. And I'm going to run that ladder down here to that level. I'm going to get rid of one of those. Two of those, actually. Base. Tile. I'm going to put tile over here like this. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go with the ladder and I'm going to put the ladder like this. Uh, that won't go in the middle bit. I've got to actually get rid of that. So I need to press an X on there and remove that and I'll remove that one as well. So those can be taken out, and I'm going to dig that one and that one and that one so that nobody gets stuck, because that's a really, really bad thing. And I'm going to take the ladder here, and that one is going to go up to that height there. And then I'm going to run a ladder down here like this. And next one. And next one. And I think it does the next one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a pipe in here. I'm going to run that pipe around this bit here so that it cools the water down. And then I'm going to take the water up into here. And it will hopefully, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, this is going to assist with cooling the base down a little bit. Now at the moment, I've only got standard liquid pipes. If I go into my research, I'm nearly done on there. But what I'd like to do, we got temperature modulation. If I was to get the approved plumbing, I got insulated liquid pipe. Carries liquid with minimal change in temperature right there. Can be run through wall and floor. Uh, can be. And uh, then I've got the radiant. Carries liquid allowing extreme temperature exchange with the surrounding environment. I'll basically change some of the pipes over for some of those a little bit later. I'm not going to just yet. Uh, the insulated one doesn't really matter, I suppose. Um, but th that's kind of what I'm going to be looking at in a bit. And we're going to bring the pipe down. It's going to run down, up, down, up, down. It needs to go up by one more. So i got to get rid of that one. 
Wait, uh, uh, new, uh, yeah, X. Right, I want to get rid of that one there. And then I want ladder here. And I want that ladder to go right away up there like that. And then I'm going to take tile here. Now, I've got that tile down there. I'm going to take more tile and I'm going to put that in between those ladders up at that height. And I'm going to put in between the ladders at this height and in between the ladders at this height right the way through there so i've got a few extra bits kind of in through the area there i'll allow them to start digging all of that out and putting all of those ladders in and once we've got them started on that once they've worked their way through some of this then the next idea is that what they're going to do is they're going to build all of this new bit of base. They'll put these ladders all the way through as well, which are then going to... Um, we can then go and put the pipes all the way through, and that will allow us to cycle everything through on this. And then we can take the, the water up into the base, and hopefully we can cool this down. This is the main thing that I want to do here, is I want to cool this down. It would be nice if we could. That's a genius sculpture there. That is a crude sculpture right there. But look at the temperature that we've got here. This is 38 degrees in here. This is way too high. This is, this is the problem. Right, we've got blank canvas and we've got the sculpting block. So we can now allow them to start doing some additional stuff. I'm then going to start working on improved plumbing. Insulated liquid pipes. And then I want that one, the extreme temperature change, because that's going to allow me to put some of the extreme temperature change in here. We can cool the stuff down, and then we can maybe use them elsewhere, and we can protect too much temperature change in other locations. Now, it's not going to be a case of just run a pipe in. I've actually got to get the base water supply coming in to this one so that it cools everything down first, is I think going to be I, th I think that is going to be the best way to go about doing this now getting the rest of that to go through that's going to take a fair bit of work i've got some work going on in here this is just going to take its time while they, they they'll just they'll build their way in they'll eventually get there um that's that's all going to take a little bit of time next on my list i need to go not ventilation not decor Temperature, materials, light, oxygen, power. Where's, where's the plumbing? Mission room. Mission. Decor. Plumbing. There. The little liquid ones. Right. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to take the water coming from this pump and I want to bring that all the way down here through this and then I need to join it back into the system so I've only got to join it into the lower part on here what I can actually do is I can remove that pipe and that pipe because those are now obsolete I don't need them anymore um so I've got to take out this pipe I've got to run it around and down and over to here and so that I can connect it into this bit before it goes anywhere else. And then we bring it back up. And I just need to connect it into there. It doesn't need to go anywhere else. Because then the water will go from there and it will cycle through the rest of the base. It will take a while to get through the rest of the base. But I'm hoping that that means that we can have cold water running through that right there. Which should bring those temperatures down. I don't know how much they're going to bring those temperatures down. But I'm hoping they'll bring them down a little bit. At least a little bit. The other couple of things that I want to do is if I go into plumbing in here and I take a liquid pipe, I'm going to connect that one out, bring it round, and I'm going to loop that one back in onto there. And I'm also going to loop it in down onto there as well. So we've basically got a bit more spread on where the pipes are running out and through. Might not be beneficial. It might not be a good idea to go and do that. But that's what I want to do at the moment. Then the other thing that I want to do is we need to get this long pipe set up. So let's bring you back. Um, I'll put you over there. I'll run you along the top over this way for now. And you're going to run down this way. You're going to go over. You're going to come down here. 
You're going to run along the background of that room there. And you're going to come down here like this. You're going to go not into the floor. I'm just going to bring you along like that. You're going to go down here a little bit. Now, this is where it's going to get... I'm just going to bring you out like that, I think. There, we can bring you down this far. And then if I want to bring you down a little bit further, what I'm going to have to do is if I go into base, I go to ladder. I drop that ladder down to there. And then I can go back into the plumbing. I can take my pipe again. And I can drop you in like this. And I keep you on the lower side. Now, this time, I am deliberately keeping it down quite low. Right the way through like that. Down that ladder and then over to here. And then you're going to start jumping down here. And there you go. And you're going to do this. So you're going to go up there. I'll go up a little bit higher. We can run it through like this, and then over, and then up. Like that, over, down, up like that, and then you're going to go up that bit. And you come down here. And then you're going to go... Up like that, following the edge of the pipe, and you're going to go to there. I'm not going to join you any further than that. That's where you're going to go. You're going to you're going to reach that point right there. And the idea is that that is then going to cool all of the water that runs through here. So we've got a lot of pipes. We've got a lot of other things that need to be built in there. We will allow them to go and start building. It's going to take them a while to build through all of this. But I'm confident that this is going to work fairly well. Now, I've got some digging that needs to be done under here. And I've got nobody coming along and doing it at the moment. I'm hoping that they will eventually come over and start doing some of that. Because that's going to allow them to get some coal. They've gone in there. They've done that bit. We've still got a food shortage. You don't have anything. I'm going to get mush bars on there. You're going to forever mush bars. I won't change the... Actually, the berry... Uh, mashed up bristle berry sludge with an exceptionally long shelf life. You're making berry sludge as well, so we'll do berry sludge in here. Right, we'll do it like that. So I've got two of those. There is no power running on it at the moment because we've got hardly any coal anywhere. I do have this up here. So the other thing that I want to do, actually, I think, is we're going to change priority... Now, I got priority as normal on these. I'm going to turn these to being top priority at all times. That one and that one. Those are going to be top priority. I haven't plugged that one in. That was not being used. So, by prioritizing those up there, they will. it should also encourage you to come in, deal with these, do nice things with these, and pick up all of the dirt, the coal, other stuff in here, and it makes this room sort of used a little bit more. And it gets the coal being used and delivered as well. We can bring that over this side. Um, I've been advised that I need to get smart batteries and start using those. I haven't got them into it yet, and I will start doing smart batteries. It's just not something that I've done yet. Now, other things that we want to do... Uh, we want to attack. What is attack? Attack, attack is T. Attack that one. Attack that one. There was another one down here somewhere. Yep. Right. I've got those all attacked. Why have I got a load of water running down here? Because I've just gone and... Wait, no. Why have I got a load of water running down here? There's water there. Where's all that come from? Why have I suddenly got a load of water that has turned up from nowhere. I'm plumbing over. It's not coming out of the plumbing. I haven't dismantled any plumbing. 
So it's not from that, unless it's a pipe that has burst or something? That makes... I have no idea, but I've suddenly got a whole load of water that has turned up out of nowhere. And I really don't understand why. It genuinely makes no sense to me, but there's a lot of it. Now, all the way down through here. The only thing I can think of with all of this water that has suddenly turned up is that we had ice brought up here somewhere. And the ice was dumped down. And that's why, because someone was bringing ice up to that one and they didn't go all the way up. And, and that's kind of what, that, 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 then that was the end of it. They brought the ice up there and then there was no more. And they, they, that's, that's kind of what did it. Uh, printing pod, we've got next print is 1.4 cycles. Duplicate skills in here. I got nobody with the research that I can boost up just yet. So we will leave that one. This over here, they haven't finished digging that out yet. Just need to kind of wait for that. I've got these two on here. I think we need to put these as a higher priority. So I'm not going to do them as max. I'm going to put them as a 7 on both of these. They're going to be run as a 7. So people will operate those over doing anything else at least for a little while. And that is going to deliver. It's going to sort out our food shortage. So we're not going to have to worry about food just for a little while. Because we've got plenty of food and water being made here. I mean, yes, the food is pretty grim. It's not very nice food at all. But at least we are getting a little bit of it done. Now, over this side... I've got all of this set to be dug out. Except that I'm waiting on someone to come along and dig some of these bits out. And, and then they're not doing it. because I've, it's, it's mainly because I've got so much else that I've set going in the base as well. Like, I've, I've got everything going all at once, and now I just need to wait and allow them to go through and deal with stuff. I've got unreachable food, eight. Cannot access... Why can't you access the colony's food? I don't understand why you think you cannot access the colony's food. The ration box there. And a ration box there. It's not that one. Well, we're still on food shortages. We will we will keep it. It will stay on food shortages for a while. We've also got major shortages down here. Now, there are smart batteries and other smart things that we can use so that we can get uh, hydrogen being um, sucked out and being used up. Uh, like that one there, I really should be moving further up so that I can get the hydrogen being sent over this side because that's what I was doing with that little setup that I had there. Um, and then we've got the pipes that are being used as well. They're being built. And then I got all of this stuff down here. Um, once this in here has been built, we've then got a big cooling system, which I hope will cool these down enough that we can get some food coming in. We've got to be very careful with this. We're going to have to watch this like a hawk at the moment. To try and bring... We want to get these temperatures down so that we can get farming again. I mean, the, the other option, of course, is that I just go and build a farming zone down here. Which could be another sidestep. But I do need to start trying to get the overall temperature of the colony down. And I think that we can do a workaround by keeping these running. That's, that is our workaround. If, if we can keep those running. I've got more coal over here. So I'm going to prioritize. Level 9... I'm going to prioritize those there. And them. I'm not going to prioritize any more, but if I level 9 those down there, the ones with the hard digging skill will come into here. They'll remove these nice and quickly. they got a long way to run because it's all full of chlorine under this bit. So that's probably why they're not so keen on coming out here. But they're doing pretty good. They are doing pretty good with that. 
I guess maybe if I put a ladder up this side, then they can come up a little bit faster and um, sort themselves out. There we go. You can come in and you can start harvesting a few extra bits in here. I can't harvest everything, but I can at least harvest some of that stuff. Insufficient oxygen generation. Long commutes. And food shortage once again. But the food shortage now is becoming less of an issue. So, yes, they're not happy with the food. I get that they're not happy with the food. But at least we are making some progress. And in here, we are making a bit of progress with this one as well, which I'm pleased to see. They're picking this stuff up in here. Research complete. I've now got the new pipes in here. That's the improved plumbing tech that I've got going. Research. Right there. And it's that one, the radiant liquid pipe. I was kind of thinking that that might help with cooling stuff down in the new area that I want to build. So we'll allow that to work. The insulated pipe. I didn't think that would matter too much. Now, are we going to be able to keep going? That I've got a duplicate. Ooh. We have a new duplicate going to be available very, very, very soon. I've got new bits in here. I've got new base right there. Liquid reservoir. Now, that was the other thing that I was told about. This method that I've got in here is not the best method for sealing away and cleaning water. I shouldn't be doing it like this. This is altogether different. What I should be doing is I should be putting water into these reservoirs. A liquid reservoir. Stores any liquid resource piped into it. And I put it into there. I fill the reservoir up. I leave it in the chlorine filled room for uh, one cycle. And that purifies it. So what we would want to do is we would want to put the liquid through the pipe. And then straight into that. And then put it, leave it in there for a cycle so it stays in the chlorine room. And then it gets emptied out and gets sent somewhere else. I'm, I'm not quite sure. This particular method here sort of works, but sort of doesn't. It doesn't seem to be the most effective way. Like, I feel that we could definitely do better than this right here. It is, it is purifying it. We've gone from 300,000 germs down to 120,000. So it's definitely working. It is definitely cleaning this water. But it's not the best method to use, I don't think. I think there is a vast amount of room for improvement on there. Um, Look at this. This is brilliant. We're now getting a load of natural gas coming in there. That is absolutely fantastic. That is what I want. I want lots of natural gas coming out of there. We're going to be using that natural gas. We're going to be using it for some very important stuff, which is going to include running a natural gas generator. And the natural gas generator, though, we're going to bring it over here. Now, what have I got in this storage bin? That is filtration medium. That is going to be the sandstone, which needs to go for that one. Uh, now, this is going to be a problem because of how the natural gas generator works. It's a bit of a pain. I need to move things around a little bit. I've got a carbon skimmer in there. Storage bin here. I've got a mush bar. I'm delivering mush bars into there. Why aren't we... Oh, right. Wait. Wait a minute. Choose a blueprint. I want another duplicate. You are destructive. You're an ugly crier. Let's go with ugly... Ugly crier, maybe. Cuisine. Oh, cooking cuisine. That would be good. That would be good, I think. We'll take you. We'll print you. Yeah, we'll go with that. And we will also go in here. We want to do duplicate skills. No skill up still. I want someone to do the advanced researching. Need someone who can do the advanced researching. I need to get that leveled up. Uh, Gene, down here. You're only on 2,000, 3,000 XP needed for your next skill point. Uh, but over here, he's got 3,000 for his next skill point to get field research. i got to have field research to be able to use that gas thing that we've got down the bottom. Uh, I'm going, despite you being a cook, I'm actually going to give you advanced researching to start off with. Because I feel it would be the best idea. 
uh, got the greatest chance of you being able to jump up to field researching on there. So that's what we're going to do here. Let's get rid of that. Oh, I can't put those pipes in because I don't have enough ladders. Right. Uh, I don't want that one. I want that one there. I build that there, then they can go up and they can go and put those pipes in. I've got all the other pipes that I put in. They're all in in place, exactly where they should be. We've got a whole load of natural gas in here. It's filling up this whole thing. You're picking up slime. You're doing what you need to do in here, and I, I salute you for that. But our biggest problem, I'm going to have slime lung as well. The people are going to be getting slime lung next. That's just something we're going to have to live with, I think. And then over this side, is more... Look at all this coal that I've got down here. I've got loads of it. There's absolutely loads of coal. If I go there and I put a ladder in like that, and then I can take tile. I'm going to go with regular tile now, and I go like that, as far as there. It's going to allow me to be able to climb out of this. Should I want to, and then I can go in a straight line like that and dig that bit out. Don't want to dig down any further there, but I can go and dig that out and that. I don't want to dig down any further there because I'll end up falling in the pit. Well, not me personally, but at least one of the duplicates will. You know they will. They always do. They always find a way to fall in the pit. So we add a little bit there. They can get through there. We've got them working on that. They've gone and built that up, which means that they can go and do that little bit in there. Food shortage, but nobody is starving still. And I'm taking that as a really, really positive thing. I'm taking that as a major positive that nobody is yet starved. That is an absolutely wonderful thing. There's, some of them are sleeping late. Can't say to blame them. Some of them did take a while to get going. Any coal deposits up here, they seem to be dealing with them. Look, see, we're picking up the coal. We're delivering the sandstone up there as a priority. And I've got more water down here, which I'm thinking is actually ice. I think that's what's happening. I'm getting ice deposits here, like sleep wheat grain right there. That needs to be refrigerated. That sleep wheat, doesn't that need to be... Go and mop up the floor a minute. I reckon that we're bringing ice over and that's what's melting and causing us the problems. If I go and have a look at you, gristleberry, pickled meal, mush fry, barbecue. Where's the sleep wheat bit? It's not in there. It's in there. Berry sludge, tofu, lice loaf, meal lice, berry sludge. Sleet wheat. We need sleet wheat, and then we need the bristle berries in there. Um, the sleet wheat in here, I'm going to go with the refrigerator, although you've got no power at the moment. I'm going to go cooking ingredient on there, and I'm going to allow them to store the sleet wheat grains in that one, just so that we've got somewhere to go and put it. And then I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to ask them to go and put that away, because that is rather valuable. There, go and put that away, please. Someone, please, come and pick that up. Picked up water. Mm. Ah, right, they've just gone and picked up the sleep wheat, and they've gone and deposited in there. Right, that's good. And they're going to have a look over to here. So we've, we've got more sleep wheat grains over here. There. Well, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for for a little while. We need to let the replicants rest. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And I am just going to drag out this farewell just a tiny little bit, just so that there is enough space and time on the screen to put up a couple lots of you absolutely wonderful supporters of the channel. You should be seeing some of your names coming up now. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.